Alrighty, everyone, uh, before we get started, I asked some of you on Twitter if I should censor this video since uh, <laughs> we throw a few F-bombs during the Insanimania clips, just letting you know that. Uh, there was one clip in particular that I really wanted to use for the Insanimania segment, and it would have been ruined with all the censoring, so um, you know what, I'm just gonna take a chance. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a chance and uh, not censor this video for like the first time in a long while. I mean, uh, <laughs> if we're not supposed to make videos for children, then it shouldn't be a problem, right? <laughs> Ah, who gives a fuck? Did you ever think as a child how easy life would be when you're an adult? I mean, your parents and media made everything seem so simple when you become older. You don't have to rely on your parents to get what you want. You can live anywhere in the world and buy everything you desire as long as you get a job, right? And then you actually become an adult and see how complicated everything is, from finding a job that'll give you steady income to paying all of your bills that leaves you just barely enough money to buy cheap noodles from the store in order to survive. It makes some of us wish we were kids all over again. But hey, at least there's a game that makes you feel like your hard work is actually paying off. <laughs> I didn't think an intro for the Animal Crossing franchise would be this depressing, but here we are. Crossing started off as a cute idea for the Nintendo 64 in Japan only, simply known as Dobotsu no Mori, which translates to Animal Forest. The game was then upgraded and released to the entire world for the GameCube in 2001, and has since then become a popular Nintendo branded title. It's a simple yet charming life simulation game where you play as a young boy or girl moving into a quiet little town full of anthropomorphic animals, and you basically work hard to pay off the house debt you made with Tom Nook while also adding upgrades to your new home. The game became became popular enough to create more titles, such as Animal Crossing Wild World for the Nintendo DS in 2005, Animal Crossing City Folk in 2008 for the Wii, Animal Crossing New Leaf in 2012 for the 3DS with the Amiibo expansion of the same game in 2016, and the newest title, Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch, which is coming out this weekend! <laughs> I've already pre-ordered my copy and now I need to figure out how to prioritize my life responsibilities around this game and question how much sleep I'm going to lose in the end. Play responsibly, kids. But the Animal Crossing craze didn't really stop there. I mean, there are spin-offs like Animal Crossing Happy Home Designers for the 3DS in 2015. It was alright. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival for the Wii U in 2015. It was boring. And let's not forget the adorable mobile game, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Do not even try this. It used to be good, and you didn't feel like you were breaking bank to play this game at first, but now it feels mandatory to buy leave tickets in order to get anything worthwhile in the game. I gave up on it, and the rest of you should too. I don't even know why Nintendo keeps making poorly made mobile app games attempting to drain your wallets. But these are bad, I'm just saying. Nintendo mobile app games are bad, okay? Anyways, as I was trying to cover other things related to this franchise, I came across a movie that was made for Animal Crossing, released only in Japan, on December 16, 2006. I mean, I get when games get so popular, they get an anime dedicated to it, for better and for worse, but what can a movie for Animal Crossing do to make it an actual movie? I mean, it's a life simulator game where you collect various stuffs, pay your debts, and meet new villagers. Can this really make a good movie? No. It cannot be a good movie. And you want to know why it can't be a good movie? Well, after watching this movie myself, I say it can't because it doesn't have my boy Dell. My boy. My cranky alligator boy. Yeah, this movie has a handful of villagers, and not one of them is Dell. This movie came out in 2006, and Dell made his premiere on Animal Forest E Plus in 2003. There are no excuses. I mean, take a look at this. They have an alligator in the movie, and which one did they choose? Alfonso! Really? Alfonso! You, out of all the alligators, you chose Alfonso. Really? Nobody likes Alfonso. Nobody. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. This movie needs more Dell. Q and the dude, you're getting a Dell joke right here. 
Ugh, anyone remember that reference? Dude, you're getting a Dell. Okay, obviously you know I'm exaggerating. <laughs> or am I? So on a serious note, the movie is actually a decent representation of the game. Everything the first two games have is basically in the movie, and it's pretty faithful to the source material. It starts off in the summer season, where our main character, I, moves to a village full of animals, and her mom is totally cool with that. I mean, kids as young as 10 years old can go off to become Pokemon masters, so this should be fine. Ai's mom is fine. She's fine. This is totally fine. Send your 11-year-old daughter to a village full of animals. It's fine. It's fine. It's to totally fine. I'm not stealing this joke at all. This is fine. Soon after she gets dropped off by Capay, also known as Cap'n in the English version, she meets the mayor of her new village, Kotobuki, aka Tortimer. Okay, just letting you know, since I play the English versions of the game, I'm just gonna call them by their English names because that's how I know these characters. But hey, the Wikipedia page is down below if you want to know their Japanese names. Soon after meeting the eccentric mayor, Tortimer, the post office worker, Pelly, tells Ai to look for the one and only Tom Nook to help her with her lodgings. She makes her way to Tom's shop and asks him for the keys to her new house, but he immediately puts her to work. Yeah, this is Animal Crossing, all right. Before she can actually move into her new house, she has to make several deliveries to the other residents of the village while also getting to know them. Along the way, she meets Rosie, Margie, Not Dell, Apollo, Whitney, Champ, Caesar, Serrano, Hopper, Pelly with her sister Phyllis, Blathers with his sister Celeste, Brewster, and the Able sisters, Mabel and Sable. The male version of the player actually comes in as a second character, giving I some trouble, named you. <coughs> And he wonders why the yellow alligator wearing Mario gear is his only friend. The rest of the movie plays out like it would in the actual game. With each season passing, new events and new characters pop up to interact with the main character. So we get to see other classic characters like Mr. Rossetti, K.K. Slider, Cap'n, Tortimer, Wendell, Pascal, Crazy Red, and even Gulliver. <laughs> oh my god, as I'm editing this, I'm totally spotting characters that I didn't see in my first time watching this movie. I mean, look at this. There's Pete, Sahara, Caitlin with Katie, Lyle, Dr. Shrunk, and Timmy and Tommy. Everyone's here! Everyone except Del. But we also get to see special events that are carried out throughout the seasons. Not to mention all the activities you get to do in the game are shown in the movie as well, like bug catching, digging for fossils, digging holes with trap pits, picking fruits, and even fishing. And speaking of fishing... And now for our next segment, Does Hopper Catch the Fish? <sighs> nope, Hopper does not have his fish. Get used to this, you're gonna see Hopper fishing throughout the whole movie. The movie carries through nicely with our main character, I, befriending two of the villagers, Rosie and Margie. Together, the three of them spend time together in the village, at the beach, dealing with you and Alfonso's crazy antics together, and even enjoying the summer festival together. <laughs> song! Ah, that's so cute! Ah, what an adorable homage to the game! Nanika, request to Arkai. Ooh, ooh, can you sing Bohemian Rhapsody? Okay. Huh. I didn't know we knew that one. It makes me wonder if they're going to tackle one element of the game that can be a bit sad. Sometimes a villager will just randomly leave or express to you that they want to move away, which gives you the choice to make them stay or not. This allows you, the gamer, to meet other new villagers, since you're basically only allowed to have a certain amount of villagers stay at your village at a time. So, would the movie address this part of the game somehow? <laughs> Margie? She's leaving? But but she was becoming great friends with Ai. How could she just leave so suddenly and not tell Ai about it? And she was even teaching Ai how to make cherry pies. They're going to make pies together. I know it's her dream to become a fashion designer, but poor Ai is just heartbroken. I mean, yeah, I probably would have said no, like that one time I told Del, no, you are staying here in my village, my precious angry alligator boy. But, yeah, it's still a sad reminder of that one part of the game where you don't see your former villager's house anymore. And now back to our new segment of the show, Does Harper Catch the Fish? <laughs> yeah. 
That is, um, that's not a fish. Good job, though. Overall, the Animal Crossing movie is a cute little movie that decently captures the essence of the original games. As the four seasons change, the character is working hard to pay off her debt while befriending every villager and sharing different experiences with them. I wasn't sure what to expect with an Animal Crossing movie, but I honestly got everything I expected. It's a cute little movie highlighting the things we enjoy and can experience in the game, like festivals, explorations, meeting new friends, and sometimes saying goodbye. It's it's not an epic experience that every anime and gaming fan should watch, but if you like Animal Crossing, you might enjoy this cute little movie. With the next game coming out this weekend and Japan releasing the film on TV to celebrate the new game, maybe we'll get a legal source to watch the movie ourselves. But sadly, you can't really watch this on any legal sites. If you really want to watch it, you'll have to search through Google for the streams or even DVD copies. If this changes in the future, I'll provide links in the description box down below. So if you want to celebrate the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons, and watch a cute little movie at the same time, you should definitely check out the Animal Crossing movie, Dobotsu no Mori. But wait, we forgot something. Did, did Hopper catch his fish? Holy fuck on a nugget, Hopper caught a fish. Somebody won't tell me th Here at JonTron Incorporated, we've taken a hard look at our workplace safety procedures and have decided to revise them to keep our workers safe. Because if your heart ain't beating, I ain't eating. Listen guys, I don't even like fishing. My butt is officially fused with my chair. I can't move. Please help me. This isn't how I wanted to die. I just wanted to get your fishy. Help me! Now listen real close, I'ma tell you the sitch. Cause my name is Tom Nook and I run this bitch. Congratulations, you bought a new home. Oh, you can't afford it? I can give you a loan. You can get some bugs till the debt's been paid. Cause you're the newest member of my slave trade. This will go up your butt if you don't fuck off. Holy fuck, shit, it's a dinosaur. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Long ago. The land of Simple Flip Island live three banana gods. How long does this go for? About an hour. My gym partner's a monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. My gym partner's a monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. My gym partner's a monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. They were going to go to the king. Kizuki, Dobu, Tumura, no Sancho, to you, Wagajana. I want Tortimer dead. Irish noises! Top of morning! Top of morning! Here's the mail, it never fails, it makes me wanna wag my tail When it comes, I wanna will Look what you've done to my peonies! They're marigolds! I may not know my flowers, but I know a bitch when I see one! Wait. are my best friend. We will go for walkies, uh, and we will go uh, on a picnic, uh, and we will have uh, so much fun uh, forever and uh, ever please and stop. ever. And, and you. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. I'll be right here. And now back to our old segment, Is Hopper a Fish? <laughs> and now back to our new segment, Does Hopper Become a Fish? Holy fuck, Hopper, catch this fish! <laughs> Holy fish tits, Hopper caught the fish. <laughs> Dingle my berries, Hopper's a fish. So, did anyone know this anime existed? I mean, besides the lovely people in Japan? 
I think I remember hearing about it, but never really checked it out till now. What are your thoughts on this movie? And while we're at it, are any of you excited to play the new game? And also, which villager is your favorite? I'm super excited to get my hands on this game, but I would flip if I saw Dell in my village. What can I say? He's my favorite angry gator, and I want him in my village ASAP. Don't worry, I will be prioritizing my videos over the game, maybe. So be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more updates about our next videos and such. I want to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who have gone above and beyond to help our channel stay alive and well. The algorithm is sending me mixed messages over which of my videos gets more attention and which, um, well, which don't, but I can still make the videos that I want to make for all of you to enjoy thanks to the amazing supporters on Patreon. Thank you all so much for watching. More awesome videos will be on the way, so stay tuned to Anime America.